Hello my country people, welcome back to the news. The camp of the People's Democratic Party, PDP presidential candidate, the former vice president, Atiku Abubakar, has demanded explanations from the presidential election petition court on why the certified true copies of its judgment bears the header of the Bola Tinibu presidential team. Now, Niger News recalls that there had been insinuations that the tribunal ruling was compromised in favor of President Bola Tinibu due to the Tinibu presidential legal team watermarks found on the copies in circulation on social media. However, the coordinator of the Tinibu presidential legal team, Babatunde Ogala San, in a statement on, you know, Saturday debunked such insinuations. According to him, the judgment was not compromised and the watermarks were only applied by the team after they got their own copies of the conciliated judgment from the Court of Appeal. Now, Ogala further explained that the lawyers for the PDP were present at the registry when they picked up the clean copies of the tribunal ruling, adding that the PDP lawyers were even the first to pick copies of the judgment from the court registry. In a statement to news reporters, the special assistance communications to Atiko, Mr. Frank Shaib, stated that it is very important that the presidential election petition court should really tell Nigerians why they chose to affix the header of the respondents on the CTC copy of your judgment, whereas the copies that went to the petitioners did not have the same. What was that? Because the Tinibu legal team is deemed to be accorded special privileges. So the court must explain, he said. I think we also questioned why the presidential election petition court came to the decision to avail the respondents, especially the Tinibu legal team, to have a first receipt of the CTC of the judgment before the plaintiffs. Now, Nigerians want to know why the presidential election petition court confers special privileges, you know, uh, to the Tinibu legal team by making them to have the first custody of copies of the presidential election petition tribunal, even though it was more urgent for the petitioners, for the petitioners who needed the document in order to cause an appeal to the Supreme Court within 14 days, including weekends. In the course of delivering its judgment, the presidential pre election petition courts had spoken of the petition it was ruling against in a vexatious and a vexatious language as it was a crime to bring a case of electoral banditry before the court. However, unfolding developments after the court's elite suspicions about whether or not the Tinibu legal team provided um, clerical services to the presidential election petition court. Otherwise, how and when did Tinibu presidential legal team creep into a document that was supposed to be the official document of the Court of Appeal of Nigeria? So, we need to reinstate that the Tinibu presidential legal team on, on the top left-hand corner of the 798 pages is neither a metadata it is actually a header meaning that except for a valid explanation the sustainable presidential legal team is the originator of the document for the purpose of clarity a header is a text you know that is placed at the top of a page which shows that this belongs to this person so my country people the presidential election petition court must on its honor if indeed it has any, clarify why the court chose to put the header of the Tinibu's legal team on the CTC copy of the of the judgment document. Why would they do so? Atiku has demanded 
an explanation. Again, the Presidential Election Petition Court must explain why it came to the discretionary decision of having the respondents have a custody of the judgment earlier in the day on Friday, while making the same available to petitioners later in the day, only after the lead counsel to article and the PDP had written a second letter, and the first was on Thursday, to the courts demanding for the copies of the judgment. Moreover, the PDP have it in good authority that when the Presidential Election Petition Court was informed that the CTC copies of the judgment given to the respondent was already circulating in the public doma uh, domain with the header of the TPLT on it, the further delay was necess um, necessitated by the need for it to undertake a laundry of the document by removing the Tinibu's uh, presidential legal header before handing over the same to the lawyers of Atiku. Whereas, the legal team of the PDP and Atiku had, you know, statutory 14 days to prepare its appeal to the Supreme Court. The Presidential Election Petition Court had erased two days out of that 14 days. No thanks to the Presidential Election Petition Court, whose chairman, Justice Tessimini had promised to make available the CTC copy of the judgment to Atiku a day after his judgment was rendered, which sought to have been on Thursday. So Atiku have noted that Nigerians and the world are earnestly waiting for the answers to those posters as the legal challenge shifts to the Supreme Court. Atiku said, make no mistake about it. This legal challenge to the electoral banditry of February 25th, which has now shifted to the apex court, is not about Atiku, but it, but it is about the party's last effort to make sure we rescue our country and deepen our democracy. So my country people, these are the questions being raised by Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party. Who is also a vice? Uh, who is also the former vice president of this country? Now, they have made it known that see, they are demanding for the copies of this judgment. But to their greatest surprise, I mean, these copies had a watermark on it. Why would it be so? They are raising questions before it got to their hands. Why is it that they had this watermark of Tinibu's uh, legal team on it? Why? So. One question that linger is whether this decision signifies a special privileges afforded to the Tinibu's legal team. So the court has to provide an explanation for this. If there is a form of a, a preferential treatment towards Tinibu's legal team. So guys, I'm dropping here. What are your thoughts on this? Kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section. Thank you.